Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we're touching on the ongoing earthquake swarm, a tropical storm aiming for Taiwan, and two studies that indicate solar forcing and influence of the ongoing magnetic pole shift on the wind. But we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, very quiet. No solar flares. There were some small filament eruptions near the sides of the sun, the limbs, not aimed towards the Earth. And the coronal holes are too far south to be impactful. And yet, we have space weather here at Earth. A brief geomagnetic storm, lowest level event, nothing scary, occurred a few hours ago and it is tough to see why. The solar wind does show a minor plasma speed enhancement, but a mild one. There was a phi angle flip at the solar wind magnetic field, but again, minor. The event is waning here this morning. The earthquake swarm south of Japan continues, only three notable events over the last day, but they are of significant magnitude, including the tied for second largest shake of the swarm sequence. We are still watching closely. There's that slow-moving typhoon in the South China Sea as well. It has organized and strengthened, even gaining an eye wall every few hours. It is expected to impact Taiwan today, just hours away, with the hardest hitting side of the storm making the landfall prayers for the region. Our first paper today is about a significant change in the southern hemisphere westerlies. They are strengthening and shifting towards the poles. The article attempts to blame humans, as always, but this is an expected and clear sign of the increased poleward solar forcing of the jets and wind patterns overall, driven by the weaker magnetic field of Earth. How do I know? Well, we've covered the dozen or so papers on that, and then there's also this, solar forcing of the jet streams towards the poles during solar proton events. This paper looked at flight time changes during the solar particle storms and detailed the poleward shift. The fundamental reason for the shift is the impact of the space weather on the lower atmosphere, and it's nearly instantaneous. So with the dozens of previous papers, but this one particularly today, and knowing that the weaker magnetic field is letting the sun have a bigger impact, we can say, yes, we are pretty darn sure that this poleward migration of winds from the previous paper and their intensification is driven by the enhanced vulnerability of our planet to the sun. Folks, we are six days away from the next pole shift conference. There's another one in August, September, November, and December. For the speed dating event end of July, we have a slight surplus of men, and I do mean slight, but evening that out would be best. Other big events the rest of the year as well. Find the events, check out campground details, and book your stay at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear, be safe everyone.